Hey guys, SMG Shakes here, and we're back with another Let's Play Texit 3, the Science Fantasy Mashup Mod Pack. The link for the download will be in the description below. And if you remember our last video, we had just wandered in to this village. We were a fresh spawn, we were looking for a place to live, and we were just getting a lay of the land. We were figuring out all the natural stuff you could find, uh, the trees and the different types of wood and stuff like that. and we moved into this giant windmill. Well, after that, I decided to get a little deeper to learn a little more about the game, so I kept playing. And if you remember walking across this the first time, this was just like a train station or something. There was a, a track that ran right through the middle, and it went to like a, a bump stop or something, and there wasn't much to it. Well, I turned it into a workshop. The first thing that I put in my workshops is an automatic furnace. For those of you who don't know what an automatic furnace is, takes the chests and a hopper, a furnace, a hopper, and then another chest. And how this works is the chests on top hold the ore or material that you want to be smithed. And then the chests on the side hold the fuel. So say you had iron ingots or iron ore. So you put iron ore in here, would feed the furnace. You put coal in here, which would feed the furnace. It would smelt it and it would come out in and gets into the chest pretty simple pretty straightforward this is a pretty easy build these are pretty these are pretty modest ones they can get pretty big i didn't have a whole lot of room to play with and i wasn't doing a whole lot at the time when i made them so and when i needed to get into the bigger smithing i came over to this and this is a smeltery and this is made by a mod pack uh, called tinker's construct and what this is, is it allows you to build this between a 3x3 three three to an 11x11. 11 11, and you can smith large amounts of ore at a time. And so you come over here and you go to the controller. You put these in 1x1s. One one. So say you had three iron ores. It would be 1, 2, and 3. And it would melt down and it would give you the capacity. So if you put three iron ores in here, you'd have six iron ingots. This doubles up on the ore produced. And it's run by lava. You put it in it. You can see it actually sitting in there when it melts. We'll, we'll put something in there. You can see it when it melts. And we'll actually make a gold ingot. So take a cast. Put it in my bar and we'll put a cast here. Wait till that gets all melted. It's almost there. And while we wait for that, take a walk over here and show you where I get all my ore. I dug a quarry, and the purpose of the quarry is it goes all the way down to bedrock, and each of the cobblestone rows allows me to go to different levels to look for different ores or different items. My first, the first level that I mined on was I was on number 12, which is actually 10 through 13, which is the gap. So I was down there looking for diamond, uranium, and emeralds, which I did find. And as you can see now that this is smelted, it is... Uh, it's liquid gold right there. Liquid gold capacity is one ingot. You can go over here, hit the faucet, and it makes an ingot. And say you had a lot and you didn't have enough time or you didn't want to put the time into making a whole bunch of individual ingots, you can come over here and you can fill a casting basin and it makes a block. Instead of having a bunch of individual ingots, you can have blocks. And those take forever to cool down. But, and as you can see, I have this big opening over here. Because one of the drawbacks of a smeltery is you can only do one ore at a time. Because if you stack, sometimes it'll work and you can individually pour them out. Or they will mix. You get a lot of, I get a lot of unwanted materials that sometimes you can't use. It's just there. So what I'm going to do with this is all the section parts are going to be where smelteries are built. I'm going to have mine carts that come out of this spot over here, which goes all the way down to the bottom of the quarry. I'm going to send the carts up, and this they're going to get to the smelteries, and the stuff's going to get uh, melted. So with that being said, we're going to build another smeltery. The first thing you need is you need the seared bricks, 
smelter recontroller and a seared tank. The tank is what holds the lava and the controller is where you put the ore. Come over here and we'll round this out. These need to be at least three tall. Can't reach that far. Glass on the front. Oh, didn't mean to do that. We can see the liquid. Oh, it's getting dark. We have torches. And then instead of finishing out over here, you're going to need rain faucets. Two things you can do with the drains and the faucets. You can either put casting table, which makes the ingot cool and stuff like that, or the basin, which lets you get the blocks. And we'll round this off right here. And that's it. See, the light came on and everything. We have a bucket of lava. Pour our lava in there. Put our gold in there. And I will show you how to... Oh, I put the gold. Show you how to make a cast. You need something that resembles the ingot shape. It doesn't matter what it is. Put that there, and that's going to hold its shape. That stuff's already melted. So come over here, pour that out. Wait till it cools off. And there we go. The, the ingot disappears, but we have the cast. Now we can use this cast to make more ingots. Put that down. Oh, that was all we had in there. Put this cast in the chest with the other one. And that's that. There's nothing to it. That's a real easy, simple design. They're very useful, very helpful. And eventually the plan with this is I'm going to move this into here. Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's a blitz. Oh no, come on. Yeah. Those things, they make creepy noises. I can't see. And it does this to you when it hits you with its whatever. Damn it. Eh, I don't like those. The nighttime in this is not very friendly. We'll talk from the balcony. See, the whole, the whole goal of this is to be able to have multiple smelteries to take care of multiple ores at one time. I brought that up earlier with the tracks and stuff, and I'm going to move that one. I'm going to put it over there, and I'm going to have seven, and then I'm going to have the back wall. is going to be inventory chests and just stone and just a whole bunch of stuff. It's, it's going to be an awesome thing. I'm excited to build it, and I'm excited to show it off to you guys. It's going to be real fun. But with that being said, we're going to wrap this one up. I'm SMG Shakes. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see me build anything else, or if you want to, you know, have me do tutorials or anything on some of the stuff I build. I know you haven't seen me build a whole, yet, a whole lot yet, but I have uh, personal designs when it comes to houses and stuff like that that I'm thinking about showcasing. But let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in seeing. If you're interested in seeing more playthroughs like this instead of just showcasing what I've already done. If you'd like to see me be active and doing it, you know, like with my Skyrim playthroughs and stuff like that. If you want to see me actively play, do the mining, stuff like that, finding the ores, uh, fighting the creatures that this game has. There's a ton of them. There's lots of specials and stuff too. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I love the feedback and I appreciate it. And remember to, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you later. Thank you.